Hey everybody, it's so good to be here with you again. I bet you're missing Miss Julie. She's still on vacation, but she asked me if I would come and celebrate Earth Day with you. Today is Earth Day, April 22nd. How do you celebrate Earth Day? Some people go to a parade. Some people make art. Some people pick up trash. Some people plant seeds in their garden. We have a lot to do, but we're going to celebrate by reading books, doing a craft, and singing some songs. So here we go. If you're ready for a story, take a seat. If you're ready for a story, take a seat. Clap your hands, stomp your feet. Are you stomping your feet? Make your hands all nice and neat. If you're ready for a story, take a seat. I think we're ready. We're ready for Earth Day stories. And our first story is called Earth Day, Birthday. Deep within the jungle green, the biggest lion ever seen stood before his friends and said, Happy Earth Day! Deep within the jungle green, the silliest monkey ever seen swung upon a branch and said, It's not Earth Day, it's my birthday! The elephant shook her wrinkled head and stomped her foot like a bag of lead. She turned to Monkey and loudly said, It's Earth Day, not your birthday. Let's plant a row of tiny trees, plow a garden for beans and peas, grab a shovel, get a hoe. Hurry up, it's time to go. Deep within the jungle green, there's that silly monkey, the silliest monkey you've ever seen, twirled his tail and proudly said, It's not Earth Day, it's my birthday. The lumpy, bumpy crocodile watched the monkey for a while. He answered with a toothy smile, It's Earth Day, not your birthday. Let's pick up papers off the ground. There's lots of litter, look around. Collect the garbage that you see and put it in a bag for me. We'll do our part to clean the land. Recycle bottles, glasses, cans. Come on, my friends, I'll lead the way. Let's recycle every day. Deep within the jungle green, the silliest monkey there he is, ever seen, rubbed his belly, can you rub your bellies? And proudly said, it's not Earth Day, it's my birthday. Hippo opened his mouth up wide on the muddy, muddy riverside. He turned to monkey and loudly cried, it's Earth Day, not your birthday. Let's take our cloth bags to the store. Buy three pineapples, maybe four. We'll use our cloth bags every time to shop for coconuts and limes. Oh, there's that monkey again. Deep within the jungle green, that silliest monkey ever seen shimmied up a tree and said, it's not Earth Day, it's my birthday. Snake slithered through the leaves up high as the monkey scampered by. She raised her head and said, oh my, it's Earth Day, not your birthday. Let's go start a compost bin, toss our rotten garbage in. Watch me and I'll show you how. We'll get started on it now. 
deep within a jungle green. There he is again, that silly monkey, the silliest monkey ever seen, jumped around and proudly said, it's not Earth Day, it's my birthday. He whispered in the lion's ear, don't you know, my birthday's here. Lion roared back, give me a break. I've heard all that I can take. No matter what we do or say, you think it is your special day. But it is, said Monkey. Can't you see? Here's my mom. She made a cake for me. The lion gasped. I made a mistake. Please share your yummy birthday cake. Of course, said Monkey with a shout. But first, I'll blow the candles out. Then all the animals yelled, hooray! It's Monkey's birthday and Earth Day. So Monkey had his birthday on Earth Day. Maybe we could sing happy birthday to Monkey. Let's do that. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear monkey. Happy birthday to you. <gasps> How about happy birthday to the earth? Can we sing that too? Let's try it. Happy birthday, dear earth. Happy birthday, dear earth. Happy birthday, dear Earth. Happy birthday to you. We did it. Our next story is about a tree and a little boy who were great friends. It's called The Giving Tree by Shel Silverstein. Once there was a tree and she loved a little boy. You can see his foot right over here. And every day the boy would come and he would gather up her leaves and make them into crowns, and he would pretend he was the king of the forest. He would climb up her trunk. Do you see his hands and feet on her trunk? There he is. And he would swing from her branches. There's his feet swinging from the branches. And he would eat apples out of the tree, because she was an apple tree. And they would play hide and seek together. And then when he was tired, he would sleep in her shade. And the boy loved the tree very much. And the tree was very happy. But time went by. And what happened to the boy? He's getting bigger, isn't he? And the boy got older, and he got some other friends. See, there's some more feet there. And the tree was alone a lot. Then one day the boy came to the tree, and the tree said, Come on, boy, come on, and climb up my trunk, and swing from my branches, and eat apples, and play in my shade, and, and be happy. Well, I'm too big to climb and play, said the boy. I want to buy things and I want to have fun. I want some money. Can you give me some money? I'm sorry, said the tree, but I don't have any money. I only have leaves and apples, but you could take my apples, boy, and sell them in the city. And then you'll have money and you will be happy. And so the boy climbed up the tree and he gathered up her apples and he carried them away and the tree was happy. 
But the boy stayed away for a long time. And the tree was sad. And then one day the boy came back. And the tree just shook with joy. And she said, come on, boy. Climb up my trunk and swing for my branches and be happy. I'm too busy to climb trees, said the boy. I want a house to keep me warm. I want a wife and I want children. And so I need a house. Can you give me a house? I don't have a house, said the tree. The forest is my house. But you may cut off my branches and build a house. Then you'll be happy. And so the boy cut off all her branches and carried them away to build his house. And the tree was happy. But the boy, he stayed away for a very long time. And when he came back, that tree was so happy she could hardly talk. She said, come on, boy, come and play. Well, now I'm too old and too sad to play, said the boy. I want a boat that will take me far away from here. Can you give me a boat? Well, you could cut down my trunk and make a boat, said the tree, and then you can sail away and be happy. And so the boy cut down her trunk and made a boat and sailed away. And the tree was happy, but not really. And after a long time, the boy came back again. I am sorry, boy, said the tree, but I don't have anything left to give you. My apples are gone. My teeth are too weak for apples, said the boy. My branches are gone, said the tree. You can't swing on them. I'm too old to swing on branches, said the boy. My trunk is gone, said the tree. You cannot climb. I'm, I'm too old to climb, said the boy. I'm sorry, sighed the tree. I wish that I could give you something, but I have nothing left. I'm just an old stump. I'm sorry. Well, I don't need very much right now, said the boy. Just a quiet place to sit and rest. I'm very tired. Well, said the tree, straightening herself up as much as she could. Well, an old stump is good for sitting and resting. Come on, boy, sit down. Sit down and rest. And the boy did. And the tree was happy. And I think the boy was happy too. We should take care of our trees, shouldn't we? So that we have lots of them. One of the things we talked about that we could do on Earth Day is plant a seed. So if you get your fingers ready, get your fingers ready, hold your seeds in their hand, we're going to get some seeds. We're going to put them in this ground right here. Seeds are buried deep, deep, deep in the sun. They sleep, sleep, sleep. Yellow sun is bright, bright, bright. Raindrops falling, light, light, light. Gentle breezes blow, blow, blow. Seed, little seed, grow, grow, grow. That was pretty good. Should we do it one more time? Get your seeds ready in your hand. You're holding them. We're going to plant them. Remember, that's how we start. Seeds are buried deep, deep, deep. In the sun they sleep, sleep, sleep. Yellow sun is bright, bright, bright. Raindrops falling, light, light, light. Gentle breezes blow, blow, blow. Seed, little seed, grow, grow, grow. So planting seeds is another thing we can do for Earth Day. In the spring, we start to see lots of garbage laying around, and we can pick up garbage. I have a story about a man who is a garbage man, and he really loves his job. His name is Mr. Gilly, and he works in Trashy Town. 
You might have to help me with this one. Mr. Gilly is a trash man. In the morning, Mr. Gilly puts on his big heavy gloves. He climbs into his big trash truck. He turns the key. Brrr. He drives his empty truck down the street. He's looking for trash. Stop! Oh, there are trash cans by the school. Mr. Gilly empties the cans into the truck. Dump it in, smash it down, drive around the trashy town. Is his trash truck full yet? What do you think? Is it full yet? Not yet. No, Mr. Gilly keeps on driving. Stop! There are trash cans in the park. Mr. Gilly empties the cans into the truck. Dump it in, smash it down, drive around the trashy town. Is his trash truck full yet? No. Mr. Gilly drives on. Stop! There are trash cans behind the pizza parlor. Mr. Gilly empties the cans into the truck. Dump it in, smash it down, drive around the trashy town. Is the trash truck full yet? No. Mr. Gilly drives on. He finds more trash. Stop! There are trash cans next to the doctor's office, and there's trash all over the ground there, too. Mr. Gilly empties the cans into the truck and picks up all the trash. Dump it in, smash it down, drive around the trashy town. Is the trash truck full yet? No. Mr. Gilly drives on. Oh, where is he at now? I think he's at the fire station. Stop, Mr. Gilly. Stop. There are trash cans by the fire station. Mr. Gilly empties the cans into the truck, and he pets the fire dog, too. Dump it in, smash it down, drive around the trashy town. <gasps> Is his trash truck full yet? Not yet. Mr. Gilly drives down all the streets in trashy town. He empties all the trash cans into the truck. Dump it in, smash it down, drive around the trashy town. <gasps> Is his truck full yet? I think it might be. Yes! Mr. Gilly has cleaned up the whole town. Whew, he's worked so hard. Look, he had to take his cap off. Mr. Gilly drives the full trash truck to the dump. Up, up, up goes the truck. Down, down, down goes the trash. I dumped it in. I smashed it down. I love to clean up trashy town. Mr. Gilly turns off the key of his truck. He takes off his gloves, and then he goes home. Now there's just one more thing to clean up. Time for a bath, Mr. Gilly. He got all the trash cleaned up, didn't he? He certainly did. Well, if you have five fingers, like I have five fingers, one, two, three, four, five, can you hold your five fingers up like this? Five little garbage trucks painted green. <gasps> Picking up trash to keep the town clean. They work and they work until they fill up. Now one of the garbage trucks drives to the dump. Back up, beep, beep, beep. How many's left? Four little garbage trucks painted green, picking up trash to keep the town clean. They work and they work until they fill up. Now one of those garbage trucks drives to the dump. Back up, beep, beep, beep. Oh, how many are left? There's three left. 
Three little garbage trucks painted green, picking up trash to keep the town clean. They work and they work until they fill up. Now one of those garbage trucks drives to the dump. Back up, beep, 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 beep. How many's left? <gasps> Two. Two little garbage trucks painted green, picking up trash to keep the town clean. They work and they work until they fill up. Now one of the garbage trucks drives to the dump. Back up, beep, 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 beep. <gasps> How many's left? I think there's one left. One little garbage truck painted green, picking up trash to keep the town clean. They work and they work until he fills up. Now he drives over to the dump and he backs up, beep, 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 and he dumps. That was fun, wasn't it? So we've talked about lots of things you can do for Earth Day. You can plant things. You can pick up trash. You could have your own parade at home today. Or if you're bored, you can do a craft. Miss Carol, Miss Carol has a very cool craft for us today. You start with a circle, a plain white circle. Cut out a plain white circle out of paper like this. And then go find an old magazine that mom and dad don't like anymore and they say you can have. And get your scissors. Get your scissors and either cut or tear out some pictures that you like and glue them on your circle so that it looks like an earth. Look how you can do that. Now if you don't have these things at home, you can stop by the library and Miss Carol has them all laid out and you can pick them up to do. She also has, she also has a coloring picture of the Lorax which is a very fun story. And she has a little sheet that tells you what books we read and some things about Earth Day and things you can do for Earth Day. It's been really fun being here with you again. And I hope pretty soon this summer we can do story hour outside together. I'll see you then, okay? Bye.